Hello students, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So, today we will learn about keyboard. So, it is the chapter uh, 4 of your book. Uh, the question answers have already been given. So, today I will only discuss the chapter. So, see, it is a picture of a keyboard. So, let's open your book. So see what is written, keyboard is an important part of the computer system. Okay, so here also a picture of a keyboard is given in your book, you will look into that picture. So keys on a keyboard. So what are the types of keys of keyboard? There are five types of keys, alphabet keys, number keys, function keys, arrow keys, special keys. Okay, see. This thing F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, F7, F8, F9, F10, F11, F12. These 12 keys are called function keys. Okay. And this letter Q, W, E, R, T, Y means all the English letters. There are 26 English letters. These are called alphabet keys. Okay. And the number here also there are number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is called number keys. Here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. These are called number keys. So alphabet keys are done, number keys, function keys, arrow keys. Okay. So what are arrow keys? These four keys are called arrow keys. Okay. They are also called cursor keys. Now let's discuss about alphabet keys. So by alphabet keys, you can write English letters. Okay. Suppose you want to type your name so you have to use these letters to type your name okay you can write a b c d up to z by the use of alphabet keys okay okay now let's say you want to type a phone number so you have to type the numbers okay then you have to use the number keys this one two three four up to zero these are called number keys so there are two sets of number keys one here this c one here one two three four five two to zero and one on the right side this one this one is also called number pad okay and to use this number pad this num lock key should be turned on okay if you turn on this num lock key then only you can use this number pad okay okay so by use the alphabet keys I can write my name so how see okay then by use the number keys I can write my phone number okay now there are cursor control keys or arrow keys so see these things this is the right left down up okay so by this you can control the cursor so they are also called cursor control keys so what is cursor so see I am writing something and one line is blinking right after zero one line is blinking here so this is called cursor so I can move the cursor from 0 to 1 see it is moving I am doing it by the cursor control keys by left I am doing this by right I am doing this by up I am doing this by down I am doing this okay okay now special keys so there are some special keys in the keyboard so you have learned about alphabet keys number keys and the arrow keys so there are some tasks which cannot be done by these keys so you require some more keys okay those are called special keys those keys are to be used with combination of some other keys okay so you have to memorize what are the special keys so first special key is alt see here this key so this is the alt key so this is a special key second one is backspace here here 
so this is a special key then next is enter you all know about enter so enter this is a special key and there are two enters here is also enter this enter is in the number pad okay then home here see it is there is home this is also a special key then space bar this one is the space bar this is a special key then delete where is delete here is the delete it is a special key then escape esc it is escape this is a special key then control ctrl okay so this is a special key end what is end here see so this is a special key then caps lock where is caps lock here then shift see shift and here one more shift here so this is also a special key and last tab so this is a tab so these are all the special keys okay okay now we will learn about backspace key see in your book backspace key is written so what is it written for backspace key backspace key is used for to erase anything typed on the left side of the cursor okay it erases to the left side okay so it is an important thing okay so let's see how it works first uh, before that i want to show you the backspace key so where is the backspace key here it is a backspace key okay now let's say i am written something uh, elephant so see i have written here two double t's okay then i want to erase one t so i will press a backspace key so it is erased okay so this is the use of a backspace key and backspace key goes to the left side to erase things okay okay now we will learn about caps lock key so in your book it is written that when you type something it appears in small letters on the screen suppose you want to type your name in capital letters you need the help of a special key called caps lock key okay so let's see oh before that caps lock key where is the caps lock key located here okay and one more thing caps lock key when caps you press a caps lock key and it is on switched on then this light it is a light okay this light will glow so when caps lock is on then if you press this alphabet keys only capital letters will be typed okay and when caps lock is on small letters will appear okay so let's see here see my caps lock is now closed okay okay see elephant elephant is small now we will learn about space bar key so suppose you want to write my computer so you need to give a blank space between my and computer okay so that the blank space is provided by the space bar key so where it is located see this is this long this long button is the space bar okay so what is the largest button in the keyboard it is the space bar key okay so let's see let's say i love my india see there is no space okay so what can you do by the arrow keys you bring the cursor wherever you need spaces say let's say i let's say i need spaces here right so press the space bar key okay space has come okay now here i need space press the space bar key now here i need space then press the space bar key 
okay so this is the use of spacebar key now see uh, there are some questions in your book say uh, numeric keypad is present on the dash of the keyboard in which side numeric keypad it is present right side okay the answer will be right side then dash key is used to erase anything typed on the left side left side it will be the answer backspace okay okay now we learn about enter or return key so which is the enter key this one is the enter key and here is also a enter key okay these two are enter keys so enter key is used to move the cursor in the beginning of the next line okay so it changes the line how let's see let's say I have written here this line this is a line okay now my cursor is here see my cursor is here and I want to bring the cursor to the next line okay then I will press a enter key see my cursor comes to the next line okay so it is the use of the enter key so I write here something okay now I press the enter key to go to the next line see okay so this is the use of the enter key okay now we learn about shift key so so it is the shift key okay here is also a shift key there are two shift keys and this is a very special key it has many uses okay the first use is it does the use of caps lock okay how let's say your caps lock is switched off okay so whatever you are writing it is in small letters but if you press the shift key and then write a letter that letter will come in capital letter understood so this is the first use of a shift key and the second use is see in the number key there is something written on the top of the number let's say explanation exclamation mark is written over 1 at the rate sign is written over 2 hash sign is written over 3 dollar sign is written over 4 percentage sign is written over 5 okay so how to use these symbols this how to write these symbols so by shift key if you press the shift key and you press 4 then you will be writing dollar not 4 okay I am showing you see if I press 4 if I press 4 only 4 will come okay now what I will do I will press the shift key then I will press 4 see dollar comes okay so this is the use of shift key the second use is the use of caps lock my caps lock is switched off now so everything which I'll write is in small letters see okay now if I press the shift key and then write a see it is in capital letter okay so this is the use of shift key now we learn about delete key so you have learned about backspace key right that backs uh, what does backspace key do backspace uh, erases the letters from the left side okay and delete does the same thing it also erases the letters but on the right side okay so delete key is used to erase anything typed on the right side of the cursor okay let me show you both of this okay
Okay, let let me write it in capital letter. Okay, so this is my writing. So here is the cursor. See. So the cursor is between N and O. Okay. So now I will press the backspace key. So backspace key will erase from the left side. So on the left side of the cursor N is present. So if I press the backspace key N will be erased. See I, will, I am pressing backspace key. So N has been erased. Okay. Now okay. Now I will press delete key. Now uh, on the left side of the cursor there is N and on the right side there is O. If I press the delete key then O should be erased. Means on the right side I press I am pressing delete key. See O is erased now. So this is the basic difference between backspace key and delete key. If I press the backspace key then the left side things will be erased and if I press the right uh, delete key the right side things will be erased okay okay uh, there are also function keys right so function keys are from f1 to f12 so there are various functions which these function keys uh, do so you don't have to um, see much about these function keys okay you just uh, memorize that function keys are used to do special functions okay and one more thing is written in your book that if you press the f1 key windows help and support center screen appears okay and function keys are also used as shortcut keys you just remember these things okay uh, function keys are from f1 f2 to f12 okay so that's all about function keys now you have to learn about keyboard manners means how to handle your keyboard okay so as it is a electrical component so you have to take a special care of the keyboard okay so some points you have to keep in mind so the first point is you to you do not pull or push the keyboard too hard okay means you do not press the key too hard then the wearings inside the keyboard may be affected right it may damage the wire connected to the keyboard okay do not keep anything on the keyboard means uh, you do not keep something heavy on the keyboard okay do not press the keys of the keyboard too hard okay then while typing press the keys gently and remove your finger quickly from the keyboard otherwise the same letter is typed again and again how let's see see uh, here if I keep on pressing A see what is it doing right so you have to press the key and quickly remove your finger okay so this is all about your keyboard chapter okay so if you have any doubt over this chapter then you can call me in my number or you can also message me in my whatsapp okay so we'll meet again for another chapter till then take care thank you